Hi, welcome back to Thrive America. I'm your, I'm your host, Brent Brooks. We're joined by Chris Spears of Arc Systems. And if you're tuning in for the first time, we encourage you to go back and take a look at our first installment. Uh, Chris introduced himself, and we talked a lot about a, uh, a website development system that you can get for free and execute for free. You might need some help in just executing it, getting it off the ground, but uh, the back end system is very uh, clean, and you can manage the content. You can go in the back end and write new posts. Uh, new information. You can you can add links. I'm assuming to uh, to the content, different different uh, uh, images and pages and so forth. So um, and on this blog, we're going to list the uh, direct links that you can go check those at as well. So uh, your next point here, Chris, is uh, visitor analytics and conversion rates. Uh, what does that mean? Right. Um, everybody's goal when they think about their website is to get more people to go to the website. Mm -hmm. um, and there are a lot of free tools out there. Google has a great one called Google Analytics. It's easy to install. It'll actually tell you number of visitors, but how many of those visitors are actually going to the Contact Us page mm -hmm. or actually filling out the Contact Us form mm -hmm. that's going to generate an email or, or some kind of notification to you. Mm -hmm. um, and while you might think, hey, let's spend some more money on AdWords or something else that's going to drive traffic to the site, what you really should be focusing on is what's that conversion rate. Mm -hmm. You know, because if you've already got a good number of eyeballs, you just need to turn them into customers. It's not going to do you any good to double the number of visitors and still have a 1% conversion rate. Mm -hmm. Whereas mm -hmm. if you could just increase your conversion rate, you don't have to spend money on the, uh, on the ad side. So Google Analytics is, is a free system that you, you just sign up for, is that? Yeah, you, you sign up for Google Analytics. There's a, a small piece that you have to install on your website. And then it'll tell you some, some great information, number of visitors, where they are in the world, where they are in the United States. Um, it can also tell you what pages people are leaving from. Hmm. You know, so you can identify the bad pages on your website and make fixes to those. Hmm. And that, you know, th that's where you're going to see that imp improved conversion. You, you might get to the, to the bottom of a page and it doesn't really send you anywhere else, mm -hmm. and then you're gone. Mm -hmm. You know, where you can kind of put some additional information and there are links down at the bottom that will drive you off to mm -hmm. another part of the site. Mm. And that's what's going to keep them around longer. And there's the analytics provides information like stats or mm -hmm. pipe charts or how does that? You can you can see it however you want. They'll give you just the raw numbers, but they also put together some pretty pie charts and bar graphs and a little bit of everything, mm -hmm. you know, for the visualization of that data as well. So this is great. I mean, if someone thinks they have a great website and then they install analytics and mm -hmm. see there could be some flaws, or there's not as much traffic as they once thought, then they can, like you said, easily pinpoint identify the problem mm -hmm. and fix it mm -hmm. you know so it, it's just w another one of those tools out there that lets you find the problem you just have to come up with the fix once you find it so so great so check out Google Analytics and and I think I'm familiar a little bit familiar you might have to figure out a way to install you like a couple right. of code there, there's a little bit of code that you need to put onto your website right. great so if, if you're familiar with with that code then you can do it yourself you might need to call somebody to help you get that code on your website but once you do, then you can you can take advantage of, of Google mm -hmm. Analytics and, and figure out where your website stinks. All right, the next uh, the next topic here you, you talk about, Chris, is is video, uh, customer testimonials, online demos. Uh, what does that mean for you? Well, it, it's it's a lot about what we're doing right now, um, creating a different kind of experience for the people that are coming onto your website. It's mm -hmm. not just about um, the text or the words that you can put on there anymore. It's what's a more engaging experience for that person that's visiting you. Um, and, and you'll see some sites out there now that are starting to adopt that trend where they've got the first part of their homepage is a customer testimonial. You know, a customer of the business is on, the, on that front screen saying, welcome to the site. Here's how you find out a little bit more information. Oh, by the way, I'm a satisfied customer. Hmm. You know, and, and as you go through the site, you'll see little, little tidbits of other video throughout the site. You might have, you know, the the founders of the of the business talking about why they did it you know mm -hmm. what what makes it special why is it different mm -hmm. um, but you can also do things that kind of describe the products you know what is your product set why is it online you know give users more than just a picture about the product mm -hmm. so so you're talking about video uh, you in, in this kind of can 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 folks right away implement a what you just talked about, someone, a customer mm -hmm. who's re kind of popping up on their side, or is that something that, like, how would someone, walk me through how someone might do that? Well, 
So the first step is put one of those content management systems in place. Gotcha. Okay. Once you have video, those systems have places for you to load the video up. Okay. So then it's coming, you know, work with somebody like you, Brent, to put mm-hmm. together that video, make it look good, mm-hmm. and then put it up on their website. And that's all done through the content management side of things. And and uh, and the customer testimonials. I just want to also t- touch base about that. If you've got uh, if you've got a new business or um, if you've been in business a while. Put customer testimonials on, on your website. Right. Even if you don't do video, put yeah. customer testimonials on your website. Um, just c- quotes from customers, uh, feedback. You know, if they've sent you a letter of some type, scan it in, put it in a PDF, throw it up on the website. Mm-hmm. It's all good stuff to kind of build that trust relationship between you and your visitors on your website. Yeah, I know a lot of people who really pride themselves on the testimonials they get. And if you're looking to do business with somebody for the first time, and you see these satisfied customers who represent mm-hmm. the kind of buying decision you're about to make, it might make their decision a lot right. easier. And online demos before we, we, we cut this segment, what, what do you mean by online demos? Well, I think uh, a lot of businesses have something that they could show off. Mm-hmm. You know, whether it is a product or the way that their process works. Mm-hmm. If, if you can give someone a little bit more understanding of what it is you do, what it is you sell, mm-hmm via a video, that's an easy way for them to kind of either quickly determine yes or no, this isn't for me, mm-hmm. but then to, to drive to have you come out and show them a little bit maybe more in depth. Mm-hmm. So kind of a teaser video. Gotcha. And of course you can hire Blank Stage Productions to provide all of your video services. Uh, I had to get a plug in there. I, I understand. Rarely plug myself, but <laughs> I, I just couldn't resist. So uh, uh, Chris, these are just great tips that you're giving us today. And uh, just to kind of quickly recap, you can Go to uh, .NET, Nuke, or, or Joomla and, and uh, download a free uh, website management system and you can start adding content and build pages and then you can start doing things like adding customer testimonials, incorporating video into the fabric of your website and make a dynamic site uh, and, and paying very little uh, for it. Uh, you might have to co- consult with some experts from time to time, uh, but it's going to be well worth your time there. All right, uh, Chris, we'll be right back with some uh more tips.